guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. You know, there's a few games been postponed, obviously due to the European football plan after the Premier League season. But, you know, there's still a lot to talk about, so let's get straight down to this, guys. You know what to do, you just have a big fun that you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to try and predict to Fulham versus Arsenal. It is my first watch along game of the season as well. It's pretty much the likes of, you know, Fulham did ever so well within the, you know, Premier League. And basically, you know, going straight up, uh, sorry, going up, going straight back down and then coming back up again. Fair play to Fulham for doing that. I think they're going to have an okay season as well. You know, it's a great free kick that score up Wembley. I can't remember the player that scored it, but, you know, fair play for Fulham, done what they did. Very much probably deserve another shot in the Premier League. And if you haven't seen my Premier League prediction table, I'll put it up at the end of this video so you can watch that and see where I predicted them to finish. Arsenal, on the other hand, you know, are really on a poor season. I know they've won two trophies before. Uh, the FA Cup, Charity Shield, um, you know, but I still look at Arsenal as the unthinkables, you know, the likes of Terry and Will, Perez, and, you know, Premier League winning Arsenal, and top four Arsenal, without no struggle, they really have gone below par in the past few years. Going forward to this game, I think I'm going to go... With a 2-1 Arsenal win, I just think they might edge it. And as I said, I'll be doing a watch along to that game. So make sure you come and join me. I'll go live about quarter past 12 on Saturday. The next one is Crystal Palace versus Southampton. Now, Crystal Palace didn't find themselves in that relegation scrap come, you know, the end of the season. Fair play to Crystal Palace for what they did and, you know, really did manage to stay up. Southampton... You know, they did have a really 50-50 season with the likes of, you know, the first half they were near the relegation zone. Southampton fans were asking for their manager to be sat, you know, and then they finished, I think they finished in the top 10. But, you know, it's going to be a really interesting game, but because it's the start of the season, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a one on scoreline for that one. My next one is Liverpool versus Leeds United. Leagues obviously really are, you know, coming back into the Premier League after 16 years. Uh, Phillips played for the Leeds game. I did do a watch an old flat game as well. It's all on my channel. And basically, Leagues, I do think the first game in back in the Premier League at Anfield will actually be a, quite a struggle. So I'm going to go for a Liverpool win and I'm going to go for a 3 0 Liverpool win. My next one is West Ham versus Newcastle. Now, West Ham did find themselves near the relegation zone. And basically, you know, um, just nearly went down. I think six points out of the last, what, four games really did save them. As I said, if you want to see what I predicted them, put the Premier League prediction table that I did up at the end of this video. Going up against the Newcastle side that really have you know, had that dodgy summer, you know, the deal falling through, but they have got the likes of Callum Wilson and Juan Fraser from Bournemouth, you know, both bought in the transfer, good bit of business done by Newcastle there. It's going to be an interesting season for both clubs, but I'm going to call this one a Newcastle win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Newcastle win. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Leicester City. West Bromwich Albion, you know, coming back up to the Premier League, I think they've gone for like four, three seasons, something like that. Going up against a Leicester side that really did just miss out in the top four last season. So, you know, the likes of that happening, it really is a thing or two about, you know, this can go either way. But I think Leicester will pinch this one. Obviously, West Brom got to be a bit nervous, but I got a good manager keep them instead, you know, so I'm going to go for a 2-0 Leicester win. Now, my next one is Tottenham Hotspur versus Everton. Tottenham, 
are one of these clubs that did miss out on the top four last season and basically you know they're going to look for the top four again. Everton signing James Rodriguez from I think it's Bar Munich they got him from you know they've had made a couple of good signings as well so you know it's going to be an interesting game. I think this one will end up as a draw. I think a bit of first nerves for James probably be on the bench but I'm going to go for a one on scoreline for that one. Now this could be a watch along I ain't quite made my mind up yet about this one but if you want to see a watch along then please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Sheffield United first ball round in two European sides not both in Europe this season but both sides that really were close from getting it last season Obviously Wolverhampton did have that one season in Europe in their second Premier League season. Sheffield United just narrowly missed out. This game, I think it's going to be so tight that it will be a 0-0 scoreline. My last one, and this will be a watch along, it's already confirmed. Brighton versus Chelsea, 12, uh, 8.15 kick so I'll be going live around about 8 o'clock. Brighton, to me, have made a really good few signings. And basically, you know, the likes of Adam Lallana, for Tongan, I've probably mispronounced his name by some way and I do apologise. You know, they have made a really good couple of signings. Obviously, I did go to the test event and I did do my review on that and I'll put that up at the end of the video as well so you can hear about that if you want to. But, you know, Chelsea, basically... Not having quite havoc, scoring an offside goal. I think this one's going to end up exactly the same as that test event ended up with a one all scoreline for both clubs. But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao, fans.